Hey, we've hit blue sky, you guys. We're at 180 KTI. It happens at 175. Look at that. Awesome. All right. First major milestone of season two. We hit blue sky. I love it. back everybody to the planet crafter i'm the bearded og and in this episode we're going to do some scouting here in the ice plains and determine where the best place is for us to set up our first base uh so i did give it some thought and then decided we are going to set up a, a base uh maybe even our main base in the ice plains but we still will also do a base uh most likely in the starter area to later on but uh yeah we started in the ice area, so let's stay in the ice area for a while and just kind of enjoy it. Uh, so I showed you in the opening montage there uh, that we made some progress. And so we are currently at 107 KTI. So we're getting close to blue sky. In fact, the sky's already starting to turn uh, blue. It's not fully blue yet. And um, let's see, we have uh, T2 veggie tubes with golden flowers, but we unlocked the tier three veggie tubes. Uh, which we're going to make and put more golden flowers in. Made another heater, have all four of the food growers going, so we are now in good shape on food. I'm not worried about that anymore. And we set up four uh, of the large locker storages and brought all the stuff back from our previous episode, uh, the stuff that we looted, or at least most of it. I think I left a couple of trophies in the halfway hut, but uh, we can grab those later. Those are not important to us right now. Okay, so let's see here. First order of business is um, let's let's just let's just do this. Let's just kind of explore the ice area and and look for a place for us to set up the permanent base. So we want a relatively flat area. Uh, since we're going to do that, we're going to want some extra water in O2. Um, we're doing really good on on supplies, you know, from all. What the hell just happened? What did I hit that got us into... Whoa! I didn't even know that! Look at that! That's us! That's the number one key! How do I... Oh, whoa! I didn't even know... <laughs> I can't move the camera around though! When I'm doing that. So these are like, what, emotes? <laughs> Look at that. That's awesome. I love it. How do I turn the camera, though, so I can see? Oh, here we go. Okay. So it's the WSAD keys. Oh, that's amazing. I didn't even know that. I mean, I knew there were emotes. I just didn't know how to act. Oh, shit. What's going on? Uh, we need water. 
<laughs> I was gonna kill myself partying here from the emotes. <laughs> that's cool. Okay, anyway, yeah, that's like the the one key. I don't know why it doesn't Why does it start at your back though? <laughs> Look at that, that's awesome. Wow. And that's like the first time I've ever seen the spacesuit, too. Okay, that's a point. What is this? I don't know what the hell that is. That's okay, that's like a fist bump. So it looks like there's just those seven. Oh, neat. Um, I, I wished it wouldn't. Well, I guess the reason it starts at your back is because you're doing it to some other player. So I guess that makes sense. Oh, that's neat. I wish we actually had um, an, a, a third person mode, though. I mean, that we could actually walk and do stuff in, but you can't move. You just do the emote. Huh. Very interesting. Okay. I, I knew that was in the game. I just didn't know how to do it, and I kind of stumbled upon it accidentally, and that was pretty cool. All right. Anyway, so, yeah, we are in absolutely fantastic shape as far as food goes. I'm not worried about it anymore. And uh, so we're in, we're in really good shape. Uh, what does it take to make the tier three veggie tubes? It's going to take all of that stuff there. I'll tell you what, though. Since we're in pretty good condition overall, <clears throat> I think they're going to just leave things the way that they are. And we're going to explore a little bit and decide where we want our main base. Did I get the tier? I did. Yeah. Okay. We do have the tier two agility boots. So 30% boost. That's amazing. Uh, what I do want to do, though, is... I want enough stuff to make another hut uh, so we can just set it down as we go exploring and, uh, you know, have that for oxygen. All right, so I'm going to need um, a silicon, two more iron, and two more titanium. And we also need another water in our inventory, which means we need to find another ice. All right, so let's go get an ice. And then we'll just kind of, like I said, oh, there we go. we got a tier three heater. That's amazing. Uh, we'll just explore this ice area and, you know, kind of get a feel for it and decide where the best location is for us to set up our base. All right. That should give us enough iron. Uh, we need a titanium. And we're good to, we need one more silicon uh, because I want to be able to set up the tier two crafting station in case we need to make something while we're out in the field there we go okay let's go back make another water and then we'll then we'll set out uh, I could make a compass too but I'm pretty sure based upon what I remember of the map before that this is north and therefore that's east so I don't think we necessarily need to make the compass right away. What what does it take, though? I mean, we could. It takes a mag and an aluminum. I guess it wouldn't be that big of a deal, right? Oh, it takes two aluminum. Okay. Let's make the water and the compass. We'll put the compass there. And, yeah, so that's... Well, north is actually more that way. And then east is that way. All right, I think this is just a non-meteorite storm. We could also craft the progress screen just to get the damn thing off of our window. And we have a transmission screen that unlocked as well. Um, I'm not I'm not really worried about this. This is not critical to us. It's story stuff, and it'll, it's fun. We'll do it, but I don't think we need it right now. Uh, silicon and a cobalt. Let's make this though. We're gonna have to get go out and get both of those things. Silicon and a cobalt. And then we'll make the progress screen. This is a cobalt and we just need a sill. Silicon, silicon, here you are. It's like very white right now. White and yellow. White and orange. Orange, white and orange, like, you know, a creamsicle. That sounds kind of good right now. Creamsicle. I like creamsicles. All right. Let's 
let's go to the progress screen and can we uh, can we set it up over there? Yeah. There we go. Okay, so we're 69% of the way to blue sky. Very nice. Very nice indeed. All right, so we need one iron and two silicon. I think I would also like to make an... Uh, no, we don't need to do that because we're going to take a hut with us. Right, so just one iron and two silicon. All right, let's see here. Here's the two silicon we need. And we just need another iron. We have one right here. All righty, so um, we're basically at the southwestern. Here comes meteorites. I hope they don't hit us. So this is pretty much the border of the ice plains right here, because if you go beyond that, it just gets out into the desert. This area, though, could be a good candidate for two reasons. It's pretty flat, it's fairly large, and it's right on the border uh, to the other biomes. So it's a good candidate. Let's keep it in mind, but we're not going to settle for it quite yet. You know, something else I want to do. Let's grab... We need some more iron anyways. Hope nothing uh, lands on our head here. I have had them damn meteorites hit me before, and they do do damage. Doo-doo. I said doo-doo. I wanted to see if we could make a bridge across here. Um, let's do this. Let's make... You and you... We'll replenish our oxygen. So, uh, yeah, probably right here would be the best spot to try and do this. So let's make a foundation grid. Uh, why is that red? Okay, it's not red there. There. Okay. Cool. So we have a little bit of a bridge to get across to, on that end if we need to. That's good. Do we have what we need to make this? Yeah, we do. Okay. So we have we have everything for our hut. Let's make an. Yeah. Let's make another water. Okay, so yeah, this is a this is a potential spot right here. It's it's not really big, but it's you know it'd be enough to get started with the base. But it's flat. That's the important thing. Um, let's go ahead and explore to the west now, and just kind of look over there and see what's over there. We'll go across our bridge here. Damn. Damn. All right, uh, let's go. I think we can jump down there okay. Yeah, we're good. If we come up here, this isn't too bad through here. It's not perfectly flat, but there is a lot of room. Quite a bit of space around here. Okay, we'll keep that in mind. I wonder if these ditches here will eventually fill with water. I'll bet, I'll bet they do. That's pretty cool. Okay, let's go up this way. Just kind of exploring and checking the place out. So yeah, that area could work. I almost like the first area a little bit better though. But again, I don't even know what this is going to look like later on. All I know is that the game says it'll turn into a lush area, whatever the hell that actually means. 
probably lots of trees and stuff like that. There's a little bit of a crater. I'll bet you a million bucks that thing, you know, fills up with water. All right, let's make our, our shack here so we can get some air. And uh, we'll take a water here in just a second. Yeah, um, most likely that's going to fill up with water. So that's going to be like a little lake. That would be my guess. Look at this, man. There's like a little land bridge up there. Okay, take our water. Oh, no, I guess that's not a land bridge. That's just the end of a cliff. Huh. All right. Well, this isn't really the best place to build anything. Can we scooch up this way? Uh, uh, uh. Yes, we can. Okay, there we go. Let's go take a look-see over here and see what's what. Okay, I see a cave. That's interesting. Let's pop into this cave and see what's going on in here. Magnetar Quartz. Oh, cool. Okay. Now, in the early access game, that's something you could only get by going through the portal and doing procedural wrecks, but now they've actually added it into the main map. Very cool. I I want to say that these crates probably can potentially, especially later, have some pretty valuable stuff in them, so we're going to leave them alone for now. Let's go ahead and replen our O2. Yeah, so we'll leave we'll leave this stuff alone for now. We'll come back to it later. You know what? Though we are actually low on food. I should have taken some food with us, so we probably better head back to the base and top our food off, which we can now do without having to worry about running out. Um, is this another cave? No, this is just kind of like a a loop-de-loop -loop through the thingy. Oh, wow, that is a long way down. Damn. Okay, I don't think we want to fall down there. We don't have a jetpack. That would not be good for our health. Huge canyons here. That is cool, man. All right. There's the desert ship. And if we kept going to the southwest, southwest, west, south, we would get into that kind of wetlands area. I don't know what the exact name for it is, but that's kind of what I call it. And we did investigate that place in season one. Oh my goodness, that's a long ways down. I'd like to go down there, but like a numbskull, I took off without considering our food. So we'll have to... This is so cool, though, man. Look at this. There's a crate way over there. We'll have to investigate this later. We need to start getting back to the base right now, or we might get in ourselves in trouble. As far as building a base, though, um, there isn't a whole lot over here that's looks super good for that. I mean, even this spot here could be okay. That, uh, that thing right there looks new. I don't remember that from before. So, yeah, we'll have to... Um, I we'll have to investigate all that later. Right now, we're just kind of looking for our first permanent base location, but not only base location. Since we burned one of our O2s, I need to make a new one. 
Uh, yeah, actually, why don't we save? That's probably a good idea. All right, let's move back this way. Got another little canyon. There's lots of canyons and gorges and stuff in this biome. Very interesting. All right, let's get back to our place there. We'll get some food and then we'll investigate to the north east. Yeah, northeast-ish. We'll see what's going on with that. So this is still kind of my favorite spot right here. I mean, it's definitely super flat. It's just not really big. It's big, but it's not really big. And, um, you know, as time goes on, you do uh, use a lot of space with your base. Uh, we could take more verticality into account. All right, let's eat one of those. Let's eat the second one of those. And we'll take a mushroom with us as a backup food. Are these ready to harvest? They are. Okay, let's harvest these so we can grow a new batch. Um, you know what? We don't need to continue keeping food in there. In fact, this whole base is going to get changed here in a little while anyway. Uh, let's keep a squash with us. Okay. All right, let's take a look to the east now and see, you know, check all this area over here. There's the Stargate way over there. So we're familiar with that area from the last episode. And the area between us and the Stargate is the uh, the canyon. And we're also familiar with that area too. Now this spot over here is pretty expensive expansive and relatively flat so this could also be a good possibility there's a shit ton of room out here it's just not super flat but it's a possibility gets us a little closer to the labyrinth um and you know and then therefore closer to the starter area and also close to the canyon lands This is kind of like a Grand Canyon area. It's pretty cool. We'll scope it out later. All right, let's go look up kind of to the north of here and just finish getting a feel for these um, ice planes before we make our decision. There's no doubt about it. We would have a lot of space out here, man, if we, if we chose this spot. So I'm starting to think maybe that's our best candidate so far. Let's go check things out over here, too. Recharge our O2. All right, so we'll head to the north. I wonder if those big ice hills up way out in the distance will stay there later ice mountains <gasps> oh, excuse me hmm got a crate there but again let's leave it All right, so that kind of gets to the edge of the canyon there so we can't really go any further this way my guess is all these ginormous ice blocks will eventually melt and some of them may reveal some things and some of them may not I don't know it does look like there might be something inside of there
Anything interesting over here? We got a blue crate. Okay. Let's go up and check up here. Nothing real phantasmagorical. That looks like a plate that could hide a golden crate. We do have an O2. Well, here, we don't, let's not use the O2. Let's do this. We are going to have to drink here in a moment, though. We're doing good on food. In fact, since we are going to have to drink in a moment, let's just make another drink so we have one ready to go. Sure, let's save. Keep hitting the wrong damn button, though. Can we scooch up here? Uh, 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 yep, we can. Okay. All right. Interesting terrain. way down there. Hmm. I don't know if I want to jump down there. We don't have our jetpack yet. Is there something back there, though? Oh. That's not good. Doesn't really look like it. Okay, so let's not go any further that direction, then. We can drop down to here, okay. You have to fall fairly far in this game to take fall damage, but you can take fall damage. All right. It's just kind of interesting to walk around and look at the place, you know, even, a, even if we don't find anything real fantastic. But just looking at it, it's kind of cool. O2 back. We will have one more tier of oxygen tank. I think it and it'll get us up to like 370. And then that's all we get. Uh until you know we get breathable atmosphere. Oh, here's a cave. Okay. Interesting. Let's take a peek down in here. There's Aluminum. And it looks like... I can't really tell if that will open up to another area or not. This goes quite a ways back in here. But it looks like it comes back out here. And then there's a ravine down there. Is this, a, is this a different area? I don't think so. I think it's just another outlet back into the main area. That seems to maybe go back a little further. Oh. Okay. Don't want to get ourselves stuck down here. It would not be good. Oh, this... Wait a minute. That's our cave. Yeah. Okay, that's our cave. We just found a different entrance to it. Huh. Because it started looking familiar to me. We found the... Basically, we found the back entrance to it. All right, well, after kind of pretty much checking the whole place out, 
Um, let's go back in. There, there was a huge canyon over there that we didn't really go down inside of. I think if we eat this now, that'll almost top us off. I want to go check that canyon out before we make our final decision. That's the cave with the magnetar. Wow, that really goes way down there. Okay, let's let's go investigate. My curiosity is pecued. That's a pretty long drop. Let's go around. I don't want to uh, risk damaging our ourself because it takes our health down, which means then our food is. We're going to run out quicker. And we should be fine on our food for now as long as we don't do anything to hasten its uh, uh, diminishment, I guess is the word. Oh. Okay, we had some terrain pop in there. Oh, shit. Um, I thought we would have, like, it looked like there was going to be, like, a little ramp down in here. Okay. I mean, I could probably get down there, but can we get back out is the thing. Guess we're going to find out, aren't we? Hopefully I don't regret this. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, you know, if we lost all of that stuff to die, it would not be... In the, well, okay, there's... I guess there is a ramp here. I couldn't really tell from over that... on that side. Yeah, okay, there's a ramp in and out of here. Lemon squeezy. Let's do an O2 hut here. Get some air back. All right, we'll go down this way. This is cool, man. Very cool. Does this open up into a cave later, maybe? I don't think so. I think that's just a big block of ice. Look how the light's coming through there. That is really neat looking. Um, In fact, that's worthy of a screenshot, except for it's getting dark. Okay. There's a blue case way over there. This is very cool back in here, man. Hey, look at that. Pulsar crystal or quartz. Nice. Okay. Good to know. We won't need this until we get to the point where we're making fusion generators and fusion cells, which will come quite a bit later, but it's good to know that that's there. So we found a magnetar quartz cave and a pulsar quartz cave. Uh, sure, let's grab that. Probably shouldn't have checked it, but I did, so there you go. All right, uh, let's continue on through here. I mean, you know, we're going to have a bazillion cases to check. So if we open a couple here and there, it's not a big deal. Is this a cave or just another part of the thing? All right, here. have two water so we're good all right let's go check this out it looks like a cave to me oh a uranium cave maybe eh? 
yes, indeed. Look at that. All right. Very cool. We can put an extractor in here later. Um, this isn't the same Uranian cave from, I don't think so, from the uh, old map. Oh, I love I just love exploring these new areas, man. So cool. All right, so we found a, a magnetar quartz, a pulsar quartz, and a uranium cave so far. Oh, and that brings us out to this place with these enormous arches. I wonder if if this is the other new biome. I don't know anything at all about the other biome. Yeah, you can even see a bit of the uranium there. Okay, yeah, we're... Uh Definitely past the ice fields now. We're not in Kansas anymore. In case you guys didn't notice. Right. We don't want I don't want to get too much further away because we don't have a we don't have a food option. Look at those things though. That is so cool, man. All right, I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna head back home and we'll come and explore this area later. Um, this is a really, really nice flat area here too for a building, but we're not we're not in the ice fields. We want to stay in the ice fields. I bet you all of this fills in with water later. But, yeah, we'll come back here and explore these crazy arches at another point in time. I'm going to go ahead and work my way back to the base. And I think from what I've seen, I think what we're going to do is we're going to set up our first permanent base in that flat area that's near the canyon because that seems like the most logical place to do it there's just so much room there it's not quite as perfectly flat as the first look at that view isn't that beautiful as the first place you know that i was looking at but uh what was that oh nice we got the advanced craft station okay we're gonna need that of course um okay yeah so over hmm I wonder it seems to me like wait no stop that <laughs> didn't mean to do that it seems to me like those arches are kind of covering the you know the uh, the north west biome of the old map like down in there was the wetlands. I just don't remember those arches, so I think those might be new. But yeah, this that's probably the wetlands down there. I just don't recognize it because when I saw it for the first time before, there was water down in there. And that is the, I'm pretty sure that is the uranium cave then that I was thinking of. It's just really bizarre to see it, you know, without the water. Because, you know, we didn't come over here until way late in our terraformation process in Season 1. So cool. Alright, let's do a save. And we got some more meteorites coming in. Alright, let's head back home. Hopefully we don't get thumped in the head by a meteorite.
Hey, we've hit blue sky, you guys. We're at 180 KTI. It happens at 175. Look at that. Awesome. All right. First major milestone of season two. We hit blue sky. I love it. Fan freaking tastic. Let's chow down on that eggplant there. Are you guys ready to pick again? Yes, you are. All right, there's our collection of food. Let's take the squash uh, to completely top off. Put the uranium in there. We'll put the uh, eggplant seeds in there for now. Iridium can go there. One, two, three, four. Okay. Yeah. Uh, all right. So I think that we are going to build our first permanent base over here huh uh, right over here next to the canyons it's a very large open area it's relatively flat it's not perfectly flat but relatively flat it's close to the the labyrinth and the starter area on the other side and uh, I think it's a, a good place for us to to get started here so I think what we'll do is we'll uh, what's this over here it's kind of a nice view looking out over that way maybe what we'll do is we'll build our base on this shelf here look it out over that direction or either that or we could build it looking out over the canyons Quite the view looking out that way, too. And then all of these fields behind us will be, you know, where we'll set up our, uh, like our solar panel field and our drill field and that sort of thing. So it's really just kind of a matter of deciding where to start. Shelf down there is kind of cool. There's a little fighter ship down there. Um, yeah, the view's kind of obstructed from there, I think. Please tell me I can get back out of here. <laughs> oh, shit. I keep forgetting I don't have my my uh, chat pack. What about right here? Uh, uh, there we go. We got it. Okay. Yeah, I think let's go back over this way. If we're going to, you know, take advantage of the canyon lands, we want a nice view of the canyons. And that's kind of a little bit too far tucked back in the corner there.
We have a nice view of the Stargate over that way. And this is going to get filled. Uh, it's going to have like little rivers and stuff later on and look really cool later. All right, here, we got to get some air here. That's a pretty nice view. So, you know, this technically isn't really in the ice fields anymore, but sure there's a lot of room here. And it's relatively flat. And it has an amazing view of the canyon. But, I don't know, I, I want to, I don't know, I got to think about this. The be If we want to do a canyon build, the best build, the best view, in my opinion, is right on the other side of that rock, but now we're no longer in the ice fields. Um, at the end of the day, does it really matter? I don't know. Probably not so much if we're going to be on this side anyways. See, we're kind of more back in the ice fields over here now. We still have a pretty good view from here. All right, well, let's let's just choose this spot then right here. So, so this area, you know, kind of where the rock is. I think that'll be our base, and then directly behind us, this whole field here, we're going to just turn into massive, uh, you know, power fields, solar panel fields, that kind of thing. Well, actually, nuclear, pretty quick here. And drill fields, and, well, we can't really do heaters until we get to Tier 4, because the Tier 3 heater is still an indoor thing, so we'll figure all, all that out. But yeah, I, I think this is the spot. All right, you guys. Well, I'm going to go ahead and let you go here. And um, we'll start the next episode. It's just it's a normal meteorite thingy. Yeah, I think so. We'll start the next episode by getting, getting started building our base. And we're going to build it right on the edge of the cliff with that awesome view over there. room sure let's pick this stuff up we might as well especially if it's aluminum okay so with that being said i'm gonna let you guys go here so thanks everybody for watching hope you guys enjoyed this episode and if you did please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel leave a comment share the video catch y'all in the next episode Bye bye